Fifth grade, chapter six, lesson three. Estimate fractions, sums, and differences. Unlock the problem. Kimberly will be riding her bike to school this year. The distance from her house to the end of the street is one sixth mile. The distance from the end of the street to the school is three eighths mile. How about how far is Kimberly's house from school? You can use benchmarks to find reasonable estimates by rounding fractions to zero, half, or one. So place a point at one six on the number line. So we put a dot right here on one six. The fraction is between what? Um, between six and one, and one half. Is between zero and one half. The fraction one six is closer to the benchmark. Is it closer to zero or one half, guys? Zero. 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 So we are going to round it to zero. zero. Place a point for three eighths on the number line. So we're going to put a little dot here for three eighths. The fraction is between what? Zero, zero and one half. The fraction three eighths is closer to the benchmark. One half. One half. So we're going to round it to one half. Add the rounded factors. So we rounded one six to zero, and we rounded three eighths to one half. So our answer is one half. So Kimberly's house is about half of a mile from the school. Another way, you can compare the numerator and the denominator to round a fraction and find a reasonable estimate. So 9 tenths minus 5 eighths. Round 9 tenths. Round the fraction to, so we know 9 tenths. What would be the whole of tenths? 10 tenths, right? So 9 tenths is close to 1. Round 5 eighths. Round the fraction 5 eighths to, so what is half of eighths? 4 eighths, right? So 5 eighths is close to 4 eighths, which 4 eighths is also known as 1 half. One half. So we're going to subtract. So we said 9 tenths would be rounded to 1. one. 5 eighths would be rounded to 1 half. So if I took half of a whole away, what would I be left with? One, one, half. one half. So nine tenths minus five eighths is about one half. one half. Estimate. So for letter A, it says two and seven eighths. So what would two and seven eighths be close to? Three. Three. Okay. So three minus two fifths. Okay. So we either need a either a zero half. Or one. So what do you guys think that would be closer to? One To a half, right? Because what is half of five? Four, three. Two, two, two and a half. half. Two and a half or 2.5, right? Okay, so it would be close to half. So what would, if I had three whole pieces and I took away just a little half, what would I be left with? Two and a half. Two and a half. One and eight ninths. What would one and eight eight ninths be close to? Two. two. So two plus four and eight tenths. Four, five. Five. Because eight tenths is really close to one. And then four plus one is five. So two plus five is seven. seven. Share and show. Estimate the sum or difference. So five six, they want us to round five six, two is closest to benchmark. So what would five six be closest to? One. One. And then they want us to round three eighths to its closest benchmark, which would be one half. One half. So add to find the estimate. So we said one plus one half equals one half. Number two, five ninths. What would five ninths be close to? One half. One half, because what's half of nine? Four, four, and half. four and a half, right? So five is pretty close to four and a half, so we would say one half minus, what would three eighths be close to? One half, right? Because half of eight is four, so three is pretty close to four, so 
So we do one half minus one half equals zero. zero. So our answer is zero. Six sevenths, what would that be close to? One. One plus two and four fifths, what would that be close to? Three. Three. So one plus three equals four. Five six. What is that close to? One plus two fifths. What is that close to? Half. Would it be half. zero or half? half. Zero. Half. half. Because what is half of five? Two. Two and a half. Two and a half. So it'd be close to half. So one plus half is one, one and a half. half. Three and nine tenths. Four. Four. So four minus one and two ninths. One. One, one equals three. Four <coughs> six. What would that be close to? One. Half, half. Close to a half because half of six is three and three and four are close together. So half, one half, plus one ninth. Zero. Zero equals one half. Nine tenths. One. one minus one ninth. Zero. Zero equals one. one. Estimate the sum or difference. So, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to work with your partner and you guys are going to figure out these answers and then we'll go over them. So, Alright, so what do you guys estimate 5 eighths to? 1 half. Minus? 0. Minus zero. Equals? 1 half. What do you guys estimate 1 six to? 0. Plus? 1 half. Equals? 1 half. What do you guys estimate number 10 to? 1. 1 minus? 1 half. 0. Minus 0 equals? 1. What do you guys estimate 11 twelfths to? One. one plus one half equals four and one half. What do you guys estimate number twelve to? One minus one half equals one half. What do you guys estimate number thirteen to? One half plus one equals one and one half. What do you guys estimate number fourteen to? One minus one half equals one half. What do you guys estimate one seventh to? Zero plus one plus one, one equals one. Number sixteen? Three and a half minus three equals one and a half. Alright, go ahead and turn. Problem solving. Lisa and Valerie are picnicking in Chocolate Creek State Park in Pennsylvania. Lisa has brought a salad that she made with three fourths cup of strawberries, seven eighths cup of peaches, and one sixth cup of blueberries. About how many total cups of fruit are in the salad? So, how many strawberries? Three fourths cup, seven eighths cup of peaches, and one sixth cup of blueberries. About how many cups of fruit are there? So, that about part, we know we're going to do what, guys? Estimate. Estimate. So what would we estimate three fourths to? One. One. So we would do one plus seven eighths. What would we estimate it to? One. One plus one sixth. Zero. Zero equals about two. Two what? Cups. Cups. At Trace State Park in Mississippi, there is a 25-mile mountain bike trail. If Tommy rode half of the trail on Saturday and one-fifth of the trail on Sunday, about what fraction of the trail did he ride? So, do we need to know the 25-mile part? No. No. Okay. So, we need to underline what? Half of the trail, one-fifth of the trail, and about what fraction of the trail did he ride? So half, can we, we need to change that? No. No. And then one fifth we would put as zero. But one 
fit would make would that make it a little over or a little under a half? Under. A little over, right? Because we made it to a zero, but there's still a little bit of something, right? Okay, so it would be about a little over half of the trail. Number 19, explain how you know that 5 eighths plus 6 tenths is greater than 1. So how do we know that? Because 5 round. So 5 eighths is a little over what? Half. 1 half and 6 tenths is a little over one half. One half plus one half equals what, guys? One. Therefore, five eighths plus six tenths would have to be. more than one. Number 20, write that. <coughs> Nick estimated that 5 eighths plus 4 sevenths is about 2. Explain how you know his estimate is not reasonable. 5 eighths is close to half, and 4 sevenths is close to 1 half. So 1 half plus 1 half equals 1. Therefore, the answer is not about 2. Number 21. Jake added one eighth cup of sunflower seeds to four fifths cup of banana juice to his Sunday. Which is the best estimate of the total amount of toppings Jake added to his Sunday? So he added one eighth cup, four fifths cup, and then they want to know the best estimate of the total amount of toppings Jake added to his Sunday. So what would we estimate one eighth to? Yeah. So zero plus four fifths. Um, one. One equals one. one. So letter B. B. 